So what is up guys, Abel here and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to have a look at this laser distance meter. So if you don't know what one of these are, these are basically a little ruler or even a tape measure. But instead of having a physical thing there, you have a laser. And this is going to be much easier and much less hassle. So therefore you don't have to worry about two people holding it at either end and you'll get even more accuracy. So you're watching Abel Reviews and let's get into this. First of all, let's talk about the box and what you get inside it. So you're just going to open up the flap at the front and you get greeted with the device itself, the laser ruler. Having a look at this, it looks absolutely amazing and this can go up to 80 meters, which I think is amazing. They do include batteries, therefore you don't have to go and buy your own and they are two AAA batteries. You also get a really nice carrying case and it's stuck on by Velcro. As you can see, it's got quite a lot of room inside it. And then you've also got a strap so you can have it around your wrist so you won't drop it and smash it. And last of all, you've got the instructional manual, which you can read. Therefore, you can have an in-depth definition of what each feature does as well as how to operate it. So to install the battery, you need to take the cover off. You need to insert the batteries and then put the cover back on. So now you'll find a hole in the bottom right hand corner of the device and in there goes the strap so you won't drop it. Now having a look at the device itself, we're going to explain some of the buttons. So the top one that says MEAS is the laser on button. The square or the cube is the area or volume measuring area. The unit switch is clearly to switch the units. The Pythagorean measuring switch is the one that has two triangles. You've got the plus and minus buttons which obviously you can plus or minus the measurement from another measurement. You've got the reference point switch, the save or read switch, also the off or remove switch, and finally you've got the backlit on or off button. So now in order to take the measurement, you need to click the laser on switch, and there you go, you'll have a measurement right in front of you. So now for any measurement over 10 meters, we'd recommend you use a tripod as you have to keep your hand very still. It can move around quite freely as well. From this, you can see that on the tripod, it's much more stable than what it is in your hand. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if you're on YouTube or if you found this helpful in any way or you learned something, make sure you give me a helpful vote on Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Peace.